Hello, this is James Bell. I'm an attorney. I'm licensed in California, Texas, and New York, and throughout the United States in numerous federal courts. I try cases. I'm a trial lawyer. Uh, I do a lot of health care litigation, health care criminal fraud defense. In this segment, I want to talk about the Federal False Claims Act. That is one of the most harshest vehicles, tools that the United States government uses to prosecute doctors, hospitals, pharmacies, ancillary companies, toxicology companies. It is one of the tools that the government uses to prosecute uh, folks and to recover monies from physicians and from other potential defendants. Now. I want to talk about what the elements are for a Federal False Claims Act claim. One, it's any person that knowingly presents or causes to be presented a uh, fraudulent claim with deliberate ignorance of the truth or falsity of that claim to the United States government, knowingly makes or uses or uh, to be made or used a false record or statement which is approved by the government conspires to defraud the government by getting a false or fraudulent claim allowed to be paid, conspires to defraud the government by getting that false or fraudulent claim to be paid, has possession, custody, or control of the property used, authorized to make delivery of a document certifying receipt of the property used, knowingly buys, receives, or pledges an obligation or debt, from property of an officer or employee of the government or a member of the armed forces and knowingly makes or causes to be used a false record or statement to conceal, avoid, or decrease an obligation to pay or transmit or property to the government and who is liable to the government. Now, the False Claims Act basically is as follows. Uh, when you are enrolled in a federal health care payer program like Medicare, TRICARE, DOL, uh, you are in the federal government mix, payer mix. And if you submit a claim and it's false and it's knowingly false, then you have violated the Federal False Claims Act and you are subject to criminal penalties, civil penalties, possible jail time. You need a lawyer if you ha you are being investigated and or being charged with some kind of variation of a violation of the Federal False Claims Act. Again, my name is James Bell. I've done these cases. If you need my help, you give me a call. Thank you.